Canucks hosting the Predators, game number two. And the Predators are plus 128 on the money line. The Canucks are minus 154. The over-under, five and a half goals. The Predators getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 200, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Canucks laying a goal and a half on the puck line are plus 164, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two goals or more. And if you happen to get lucky and the team that's the favorite ends up going down a goal, a lot of times you can kind of get them at positive money if you just wait for them to go down a goal for them to come back and win the game. Now, the goalies are supposed to be Saros and uh, Demko. No surprise there. Head-to-head, -head, the Canucks are 6-4. and four. The Canucks are on a five-game winning streak. The home team is 5-5. Five and five. The underdog is 6-4 and four on the money line. The underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is 7-3. and three. There have been five one-goal games in their last 10 meetings. The underdog getting a goal and a half in the puck line, I said, was seven and three. The over is hitting their last three. The over is seven and three. And the over five and a half is seven and three. And it's remarkable when teams are on a winning streak like this that even though when they're on the road, they still make the team the favorite, even though one team is dominated. It's just wild to me. I don't think that'll happen in the playoffs, but for right now, it's happened this season. And the Predators haven't beaten the Canucks this season. The Predators are 4-5-1 and one in their last 10. The over-under is 5-5. Five and five. They're on a two-game losing streak. They are 2-2 two and two in their last four. Six goals, 10 goals, six goals, six goals. Five goals and a loss, six goals and a loss. Oh. Five goals and a win, six goals and a win. And then two goals and a loss and two goals and a loss. The last game was the playoffs. The other three were regular season. For the Canucks, they are 3-1 and one in their last four. Uh, four goals, five goals, six goals. Those were all regular season. And then six goals again in the playoffs. Three goals and a win, four goals and a win, two goals and a loss, regular season. Four goals and a win, playoffs. Canucks with the money line. Canucks laying the goals. And I'm going to go over. I just think five and a half is a little bit too low. And even in the playoffs, you're going to try to win. You're going to try to tie. And, you know, an empty net goal is probably what's going to send this game over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.